What's up, guys? You're welcome to Emacom TV, where we publish news on politics and entertainment. Um, we have another trending news for you today, and the headline here read: Bishop Oyedepo angry with government for allowing hospitals and market to operate, but the church still shut down. Says church is better than boots. All right, before I proceed with today's news, please, if this is the first time you are watching any of our videos on our channel, there is a red subscribe button below this video. Just go ahead, hit on that red subscribe button. Click that bell icon beside it to stay updated with all our latest news and updates. All right, here are the news in details. Bishop David Oyedepo, founder of Winners Chapel, has kicked against the government decision to continue the ban against religious gatherings due to coronavirus pandemic. The federal government placed a ban on the social and religious gathering as part of the measure to stop the spread of the novel coronavirus, but markets have remained open. However, speaking during the Covenant Hour of Prayer program of the church held at its headquarters in Ota, Ogun State, Today, May 6th, the clergy said he suspect foul play and that the voice of darkness is targeting the church because the growth and expansion of the church is the greatest headache of the devil. According to Yedipo, the church has recorded more healing than any other place, yet they are closed while hospitals and while hospitals that record huge death have been left open. There's something wrong, Oyedepo screamed. For people to be allowed to be in the market for six hours and cannot be in the church for two hours, it is an upside down way for looking at things. Which one is more orderly, the market or the church? I can smell a rat. The Lord spoke to me on it strongly on it yesterday. I can smell a rat behind all this. It is how, it is how do we stop the church from exploding? The voice of darkness are influencing people at various levels, targeting the church because the growth and expansion of the church is the greatest headache of the devil. But the gate of hell shall not prevail. All right, guys. So I, I don't want to go deep. I'm going to play the video to what Oyedepo have just said right now. After playing the video clip, you get me? I want you guys to stay put. We are going to analyze this. We are going to look at it. What we'll be looking at, what is a church? Is a church the building? Is a church a location? Is it a place? Or it is what this what we call this denomination? Are they actually the churches of God? Are they actually the church of God? We are going to look at this, x-ray them, and look at in reality, can the church be shut down? Can the church of Jesus Christ that have endured persecution for more than two thousand years now? Can it be overcome? Can it be shut down? Remember, Jesus said, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall not prevail against it. When we, after you, you finish hearing this video of Oyedepo, please, I want you to come back. We are going to deliberate on this and then we'll look at it and know what is this true church. And then we will know why these clergy are making this statement. We are going to look at why they are making this statement and why they are angry. You understand me? At the lockdown, we are going to know whether it is for the masses, for the benefit of the masses, or for the benefit of themselves. Stay put and we'll be back. Thank you very much. Therefore, I decree the opening of the doors to all churches around the world. Sir, it is, there is something wrong for people to be allowed to be in the market yes, for six hours and can't be in church for two hours. Man, it's an upside down way of looking at things. Amen. There is more hope for a poor and wise child than for an old foolish king who will no more be admonished. If this is chapter 4, verse 13, better is a poor and a wise child than an old foolish king who will no more be admonished. Which one is more orderly, the market or the church? Strong yesterday, I can smell it right. right. Behind all this, sir, is how do we stop the church from exploding? All the 
just a hair. Now, people that are involved don't know it. Oh. What hair than Egypt? I mean, Israel and Egypt was not Pharaoh. They were the gods of Egypt. They were the gods of Egypt because the greatest headache of the powers of darkness is the growth and expansion of the church. Worldwide. Worldwide. No civilization has ever endured without a foundation in Christ. No. Where were the philosophers of Greece? Of Greece. Gone. Gone. I can smell your heart. The force of darkness are influencing people at various levels. Targeting the church. Because the growth and expansion of the church is the greatest headache of the devil. We are ready for the evening. I will show you a few things. But the gates of hell shall not prevail against them. Any gang up that gathers against the church is a surely they shall gather together but not by me. And everyone that gathers together against you shall fall for your sake. Or the devil and all his agents will pay for this. And he can't go against any religion, against any race, against any people because you got some money or have some things. Man, you smell. You will smell. Every soul is precious to God. Every soul is made in God's image. I don't know what hospitals record the kind of healings that the Church of Christ records. And our hospitals where people die every day is open. The church is closed. Because the oppression of the devil has no medical care. That's the reason. So we can keep on all right, guys, I uh, hope you've heard what uh, Bishop Oyedepo said about uh, voicing his own voice frustration concerning the lockdown of the church. Among some of the things he said, he said, God revealed to him that the enemy is shutting down the church, that he smells a rat. Now, if you want to look at uh, this very well, if you actually know the scripture very well, you are born again, you know that Jesus says, I will build my church and the gate of hell shall never prevail against it. Now, the gate of hell, you understand me, simply means death. It means death and it means also all the schemes and devices of the enemy. That with all these devices launched against the church, the enemy will not be able to overcome the church. The church is not the building. God never dwells in the building. God told Solomon emphatically, he told Solomon, when Solomon dedicated the temple to God, God told Solomon that the Lord God does not dwell in building made with man's hand. He never dwells. That is why the Bible says, you and me, we are the temple of God. The church of God is not the place of worship called the church. It's not. What we see are the these denominations. You understand me? They started, this denomination of 18 did not start, is one of the ploys of the devil to cause division in the church. It did not start today. It started way back in the days of Paul, way back even in the days of Peter. You understand me? Where uh, Apostle Paul actually blasted the Corinthians, he told them, Why come to my view, said, I am of Peter? You understand me? I am of Paul and I am of Apollos. You understand me? Is Christ divided? That's what he said. You get right from the whole book of Acts, you never see the church given a name. It is simply called the church of Jesus Christ, the church of the firstborn, according to Hebrew chapter 12. If you read from verse 25 down, you will see it there. So what I'm trying to say is that the church is not a place. It is not the church of God is a spiritual temple is the temple the bible says according to what peter says it says ye are made of lively stones you get we are part of this lively stone that makes up the temple of god you get so you can see here that the church of god is not a building you see and that is why a lot of people have gotten it wrong you cannot shut down the church of god the church of god owned by god you cannot shut it down it is not the first time the physical structure 
called the denomination or the church have been shut down in ancient times even right from the days of peter right from the days he's been shut down several times but did they succeed no so the truth of the matter is that the church is not the building you see but rather the church is the people is a people so these men of god are actually crying out because their investment have been affected seriously like oh yeah, they put, look at it. he has several investors he has four universities he has several aircraft private air, aircraft you get so he is voicing out because these things are affected so what do you guys think i want to drop your comment below thank you very much god bless you